the creator level just got added to this game somebody asked me a very important question regarding this how important are these levels is it profit per hour over levels or levels over profit per hour well i'm gonna answer this right away it is profit per hour over levels but that's not to say that the levels are not important okay the levels are actually very important in fact if you've been watching my videos from day one i've been saying it that the essence of these coins here is to do two things one is to help you scale levels that is move from the lowest level which is the bronze level to the next one which is the silver and then on to the next which is the gold and on to the next which is the platinum you get what i mean until you get to the last level which is the creator level right here that's one purpose and the other purpose for the coins is to buy cards okay to increase your profit per hour but even though profit per hour is more important i think the levels are also very very important they're going to be very very uh, necessary to determining your hamster allocation and what do i mean by this the traditional purpose of having leaderboards and levels on projects like this okay is actually to reward seriousness okay so i would argue that uh, in any project where you have levels and leaderboards players higher on levels and players higher on ranks on each leaderboard would get more profits or more allocations this should be the standard reason or meaning for having leaderboards okay if the hamster combat team go against this then they're actually abusing the meaning and use for leaderboards okay they could do anything they wish it's their game okay it's their project but i'm just pointing it out okay so here is what i'm saying this person right here is on the grandmaster level with 4.2 million profits per hour okay if we go to the lord level there should be somebody here with a similar profit per hour about 4.2 million okay for example this person right here has about 4.2 million okay because this person is on the higher level than the other person on the grandmaster level this person should have higher allocations okay because this is the reason for having leaderboards and levels if this would not be the case then the hamster combat team are simply abusing or misusing the the, the purpose for leaderboards and levels okay this person right here should have more allocations if of course they kind of uh, carry out the other activity parameters because they said it is not just going to be profit per hour it's going to be profit per hour plus other activity parameters so the way i think this is going to play out is each level is going to have a pool of hamster coins to be shared okay the higher you are on the levels the higher your portion okay for example this uh, lord level is going to have a specific amount of hamster coins that will be shared for them and the people on the grandmaster level would have a specific amount of hamster coins to be shared for them but the people on the lord level should have more coins okay because they are on a higher level and then on the lord level if you're higher on the ranks the more the coins you would receive and of course for you to be higher on the lord level you would need to have a higher profit per hour because people are ranked by profit per hour not coins i'm gonna say that again on each level people are ranked by profit per hour okay so this applies to all the other levels starting from the first level down to the last level which is the creator level this should be the correct way of disbursing the hamster combat tokens to the players okay so if this prediction is correct it becomes very important to make sure you are scaling levels increasing in levels but again the problem with scaling levels is if you try to accumulate your coins to scale levels then that means you would stop increasing your profit per hour or maybe you will stop increasing it as fast as you would have if you weren't accumulating this okay so uh the thing here is you can do the calculation to know how many days it's going to take you to get to the next level so let me use uh, myself as an example okay um if i come back to 
my profit per hour you can see that i've got 3.27 million profit per hour as at the time of filming if i go to the levels now you can see that uh, for me to get to the lord level i would need 1 billion coins okay i would need to have accumulated 1 billion coins here but how many days is it gonna take me to accumulate 1 billion coins so you can just do that on your calculator so 3 million 270 thousand per hour okay if i multiply this by 24 okay that means in a day i would accumulate 78 million coins okay and how many days would it take me to get to 1 billion pretty simple all i need to do is to divide 1 billion by this number okay so let me do 1 billion divided by 78 million approximately divided by 78 million okay and so you can see in approximately 12 days i should get to the lord level so you would have to do a similar calculation to know how many days it's going to take you to get to the next level but then again we don't know when hamster is going to be launching do i have 12 days from now from the time of filming this video okay uh well in my opinion i think hamster is not even going to launch in the next 12 days when there were speculations and rumors everywhere on the internet that uh, hamster was going to launch on the 10th i made a video about it and if you did see that video i told you guys that i do not see hamster launching on the 10th and of course as you can see uh they didn't launch today so when do i see hamster launching i actually see hamster launching towards the end of this month okay so that's my opinion of course not financial advice <laughs> so what i'm gonna do now is try to see if i can accumulate enough coins to progress to the lord level and when i get to the lord level i'm gonna use all of that coins to build my profit per hour okay but i'm gonna be very strategic about this that does not mean i'm not going to uh, be improving my profit per hour what i'm going to do is whenever there is a new card i'm going to use new cards okay to improve my profit per hour okay i will stop buying the old cards what i mean by buying the old cards cards like these ones okay and why would i stop the reason i will stop buying these ones is because some of them would cost a lot to get a very small profit per hour so it is always better to use new cards to improve your profit per hour because you would spend just little from here to get high profits per hour okay so that's my strategy so this is where i'm going to be stopping it for this video but um there's something very important okay that i need to let you know in fact this thing is so important that if you do not know it you might be risking your hamster combat allocations okay there's a high chance that you might lose all of them okay i'm going to be talking about this in my next video make sure you see that video if you value all the efforts all the things you've been doing so far playing this game okay so that you do not lose your coins okay don't forget i've got a telegram channel the link is gonna be in the description if you're interested join let's go make sure you're subscribed share this video among your friends let's go